Okay, I'm recording this because um, my friend was asking about how to go about um, getting fewer emails from Canvas. So this is our course. Um, I'm in the account sections. When you first log in, you're going to see your child's courses, and then here you'll click on account, and then this is your these are your account settings. So these are all the types of things you can know, and then for each one, you can check this box if you want to be notified right away of a, of a new due date. Um, this box, the little clock, gives you a daily summary. This one gives you a weekly summary. And this is, don't email me about this. So right now, she's getting notify me right away and like every time a grade is posted. So here you can change that. Um, so yeah, I guess depending on your um, child, how old they are, how self-directed they are. <laughs> um, so, so this is how, um, how you can set this up. So uh, you can scroll through course activities, discussions, conversations, scheduling. I don't, uh, I would expect that not every school is using all of these um, different features, but this is what Canvas gives you. Um, it's a good system. Uh, there's um, one of the universities where I have taught has started using Canvas maybe maybe four years ago maybe and then the other one of the other schools where I teach is um, gradually transitioning from Blackboard to Canvas um, so yes it's a good system it's definitely robust enough to, to run um, a university a high school um, a grade school and so so it's a good system and um, takes some learning, getting used to like anything else but I think that you will like it and I also like that it's um, it's a little more structured compared to Google Classroom, which um, everyone kind of started abruptly using in the spring. Um, and your teachers have been going through a lot of training too on, on Canvas, a lot of training, like a lot. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so be, you know, give it a little time to get used to, configure the settings however you want them to be for your notifications. And, um, you know, it'll work out. I think, I think we'll have a good year. So on another note, I'm, um, I'm teaching my uh, college course. Um, one of them is, or three of them, I guess, are, are asynchronous. So you log in at any time and do the lesson material. The other one, we have live class sessions. And um, I gotta say, it, is, it has been a lot of fun. It's been, it's actually, there are things I can do in a online class that I can't do with a room full of 45 people. Um, so I've been enjoying the um, kind of seeing what new things I can do in the class, um, being flexible, and and it's been uh, off to a good start. My students are enjoying it. Um, I'm enjoying it, and uh, they're learning a lot. So so that's cool. So I just wish you the best. Um, I really empathize, especially with those of you who have much smaller kids, and um, just the challenges of keeping them. Uh, on task and productive, um, that's hard. So um, be gracious with your children, gracious with their teachers, and um, you know, let's, we'll just make the most out of this year. Be thankful for safety and health and, and um, all of those blessings, and uh, you know, have a great year of learning. So um, I'm enjoying doing these little videos. So if there's other questions that you have, just ask and I'll try to answer. All right, take care. Bye.